If you are a new breeder in the world of Black Desert Online, you may have heard of something called color theory and been given a link to the horse calculator which is found at somethinglovely.net slash bdo slash horses. But let's look at how colors on the horse skins affects your outcome. You'll notice at the top of the calculator there's a list of every tier available and if you click on the horse picture you'll see the horse skins that are available for that tier. Along the bottom of each image is a set of numbers. These represent the color counts for that horse. You'll see that 8B has 2 red, 4 white, and 3 black, whereas tier 8A has 0 red, 6 white, and 3 black. What happens when you breed these two horses together? The time you click to breed a foal is randomly chosen from one of the three colors. So what do we mean by that? If I were to breed these two horses and the game decided to choose red as the color, any horse with a color count of two or less could be chosen as the breeding outcome. There really aren't a whole lot of horses that we could get if it just rolled red. The only one we could get if it rolled red would be this 8B. However, if the breeding pair uh, was counted on white, so if the game rolled white when you wanted to breed um, these two horses, you'll see that their white color count is 10. Any horse with 10 or less in white could be rolled. In this case, we see that qualifies us to breed the pure white tier 8E in addition to some other horse skins. If the game rolled black when you went to breed this pair, anything with a black count of six or less could be rolled. That would exclude the white tier 8E and it would exclude the white purebred 7B. So as you can see that leaves pretty much everything in the middle has at least a count of, of six or less in black. Let's look at some other aspects of the calculator now that you understand color theory. You'll see that each horse skin is assigned a letter and a number. The number, of course, refers to the tier, but the letter is simply a designation by breeders so that we know which horse skin we're talking about without having to write a full description. Level is very important to the outcomes you receive uh, when breeding your horses. You'll notice that if we reduce the level of the horse, the outcomes change. Now the percentages we see here were not data mined, so it, they're basically guesstimates. Your percentages may be different. What you experience in the number of tier 8 females you have might be much higher than 8%. However, what is accurate is the fact that the lowest outcome you can receive would be a tier 6 female. And we do know that the chances of getting a better horse go up with level. When we talk about breeding thresholds, we are referring to this chart found under details. You'll notice there's a series of numbers and your sort of target changes depending on the horse level and also on the number of deaths. When we say we're at a breeding threshold, we're referring to the number right next to the next number up. So if you are at, let's say you were at, um, this breeding threshold here at 19, deaths might play a big impact on your breeding outcomes. So deaths uh, lower your breeding outcomes by about half a percent per death. So we see one death doesn't make a big difference, but all of a sudden two deaths pushes us below that threshold for our outcome. If you had two uh, level 30 tier 8s, you're sort of in a safe zone here where you're not next to a threshold and it would take a lot of deaths to impact that breed. So you'd have to have at least um, 10 deaths between the two horses to fall below uh, the optimal threshold there. So be sure to check that if your horse has deaths. One other thing to note is in the upper right hand corner there's something called breeding rate. 
Now, in North America and Europe, our breeding rate is 13, but when the game first launched, it was much, much lower than that. This is a multiplier that affects outcomes as well. Now, if the game is just launched in your region, you are likely starting out at a lower breeding rate, be sure to adjust this number to match your region so that you get correct percentage outcomes um, down below the horse graphics.